would you eat cricket pasta? This farm in northern Italy turns one million crickets into food every day. Non avrai mica paura, no? Sono... First, the crickets, still alive, are frozen, boiled, dried, and then pulverized. This is the final result, a cricket-based flour that can be added to food, like pasta, bread or pancakes. But how does this get on your plate? Some restaurants buy the flour and add it to some of the more traditional dishes, like pasta. Italy is a country that is very proud of its cuisine. Don't you think that making cricket pasta could be a bit controversial? Bella domanda. <laughs> L'italiano mentalmente è tradizionalista. Secondo me è questione di tempo. In Asia c'è già da una vita. In Italia arriveremo a far gustare questo prodotto come si deve. And it's a superfood. It's packed with vitamins, fiber and minerals. One plate of cricket pasta contains as much protein as a steak. Shall I smell it? Okay. Oh, it's quite strong. It's got a strong smell. Ha un gusto decisamente strong, quindi non eh, tutti gradiscono. Cricket pasta. Yes. Thank you. Here we go. I'm about to taste cricket tagliatelle. This is really good. It tastes like normal pasta. I would not be able to tell that this is cricket-based flour. It's delicious. Do you like it? Sì, sì, sì. Molto particolare, però si può mangiare tranquillamente. A me è piaciuta. No, no, no. Be sunk. Mangiamo veramente tutto quello che che striscia, che nuota, che vola, per cui che salta.